All right, this is part two of the last video. Um, the last video cut me off, so. What I was trying to show you is that uh, this side, because I know this is the seven cylinder. I'm not sure what this cylinder is, but it is just the, it's the first cylinder on the driver's side. I need to know that by now, but I already marked these two as needing to get moved over as close as possible. There's no interference with the transmission on this side. As far as with the collector and everything that, but, but on the passenger side, nice day in Michigan. <laughs> On the passenger side, though, we're going to have clearance issues where I'm going to have to have this uh, taken off and I'm going to have to flip it. That way, these bolts are facing up. That way, I can hook this up properly. Um, so, this part is going to have to be removed. Uh, plasma cutter or whatever they use cut this off either put another one on there or whatever they do cut it off some kind of way and i'm probably going to ask them to put a little dent i'm gonna mark it again so we have about five spots or so four to five spots that's going to have to get worked so i'm gonna mark it Way I'm gonna tell them, hey, put a little dent right in there, right there, and then I'm gonna need because we got the starter on. That's what I was also checking to see the clearance with the starter in, and the starter's right there. guys can see if the camera's focusing properly it's not too much room in between there but it will clear how it is um, I might have to see if they can move that in a tad bit otherwise the clearance is pretty good. Like I say, the motor mounts were right lined up. So the driver's side is the main issue. Um, I know a lot of guys, well, you know, I put uh, spacers and all that. I'm trying to stick away from doing that. And I believe, you know, the only issues is I need one dent, a tiny dent, and this flange is going to have to be turned so the screws will face up and down that's the issue because the oil pan is going to interfere so that's the only issues i see right now everything else is pretty good and we'll go from there so that's what i'm gonna do so from uh since i do have some old uh four thread heads that are damaged i'm going to go ahead and start uh disassembling the engine as far as getting the heads off so i can port them and get them uh to the machine shop and uh get the springs put in valve job and um them for them to hot tank it so it'll clean up the uh heads very well so uh, I'm going to have a video. I'm going to show you guys the timing setup. I might have it on an older video. I'm not quite sure. But for you new people um, who didn't go back. Because um, like I said, this is my fourth engine. I'm going to disassemble. And don't be worried. I've done it. Um, I have the, the factory manual. So I can take this engine apart in confidence. And I feel confident putting it back together. So um, as you can see, I already have the crank pulley off you need a crow's feet 
It's not that hard. Um, you can buy one, 20, 15 bucks, somewhere in there. Crow's feet come with three screws. Twist it, pull it on off. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up the sensors and screws and everything like that and decide if I want to reuse them. Um, but for the most part, I'm about to go ahead. I'm going to have a video showing you guys um, the insides of the timing chain and everything else set up too. So this is part two um, of fitting the exhaust. Like I say, I think it's, it's pretty good. Um, and for what I paid for them, and hopefully a machine shop don't charge me crazy, then it'll be worth, worth it versus buying long tubes from Stainless Works, which are 1200 bucks with no X pipe, no down pipe. Cooks is 800, no X pipe, no down pipe. So, uh, Mustang headers, I'm gonna get them worked and uh, I'm gonna get back at y'all.